Hi, welcome back to our discussion of wiki folders in Novell Vibe on-prem. We left off in this wiki. Rex has contributed content, set a home page, he's marked up the page with page links, section headings, even subsection headings. This wiki page, however, is missing something. In order to help users quickly navigate to the sections of the wiki page, we want to create a table of contents. We're going to keep ours simple. Uh, in this case, Rex will select the entry and select Modify. Once he figures out where he wants the table of contents to go, we'll expand our editor options using the toggle arrow, select the Insert New Table button, give a specific width, in our case 300, that's in pixels, and then select OK. So you can adjust the table columns and rows using these red and blue uh, table options to the right. Rex is going to go ahead and remove one of the columns uh, so that we're left with a single column and two rows. In the top, Rex is going to enter contents. In the second row, Rex is going to go ahead and start entering in all of the sections and subsections of his different uh, wiki headings. So an important note here, we want to select all of these headings and put them into a bulleted list. Subsections, we also want to select and use our indent button to indent them one more level. To connect this item to the content in the section headings, we need to select this button up here, the HTML button. Rex will surround the sections and subsections with a span tag that has an ID attribute, which has already been done. Uh, and then he needs to always close the tag with a, a span tag. And to reference that ID from the table of contents, we use the ahref tag. So in this case, we'll enter ahref equals pound sign and then the name or ID name that's given in the span tag below. Uh, we'll select update to go ahead and see how this works. We'll click OK to save our changes. And now we can select History in our table of contents, and it takes us to the History section. Now by selecting the section heading in the table of contents, we're taken directly to that section where we can read, edit, or reference the content. 